Good morning, everyone. Crockpot chicken. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. Okay. Um, okay. Garbage disposal guy, if you hear my doorbell ring, he's finally coming today. Hopefully, they don't skip out. So I know no, uh, most of you know how to do crock pot chicken, but there are some people who are new to the game, right? So, um, and um, some special clients who um, maybe their au pair uh, would appreciate also knowing this is super trick that most of us know. So I don't have an Instapot yet and I have no apologies for it. Like I just, I just, haven't done it, okay? Like, it took me forever to get a KitchenAid. I used to mix all my cookies and everything by hand. Uh, I have a KitchenAid, so. Um, Crackpot chicken, we love it, but we hate it, right? Because it's a super easy go-to. It simplifies our life, but it can be dry. So here's a couple things to help you. So first of all, let me just go through the process. Crackpot chicken, I love these little liners, first of all, right? So these are super easy cleanup. You don't have to worry about taking that big ceramic pot out and cleaning it. I just pop this baby in there and then um, poor Louie like salivates over smelling all the chicken juices as I get rid of them. But, um, so you just take raw chicken breasts, you use it, really, you, can, you learn to do like any meat you can do this with. But I take raw chicken breasts, you can do frozen, you can just, just like regular refrigerated chicken breasts. I put them in last night at like eight o'clock in here on low. And then this morning, I literally just like took them out like an hour ago, just let it cool off a little bit. Um, and it's like, you take it out and you take the breasts out. And as you like take each breast out of there, it literally falls apart into your mixing bowl. So you do want a bigger mixing bowl that you can, you have lots of room to mix the chicken in, okay? So overnight on low, you can do it with frozen as well. Um, frozen has its own juices, but when you put the chicken in there, whether it's frozen or not, add water. The more water, it, the, the more water you add, it's not gonna be bad. I like just water. I know some of you love like salsa or um, different salad dressings and stuff like that. I like to keep it simple, that way I have more control <laughs> over, it might be a little bit of my like coach OCD, I have more control over knowing what all is in it. You know, I'm not thinking about all the ingredients that are in my salsa or all the ingredients and additives that are in that jar of salad dressing I added in here. But you guys, do you, because of the number one piece is keeping it simple, right? Whatever we each need to do to keep it simple so that we, um, you know, it's about being able to keep it sustainable and maintain our progress, right? So I do it plain. I just pour water in um, to cover my chicken. So enough water to cover the chicken. Uh, you can do a combination of water and salsa and spices and stuff like that, but let's just call it plain for today's training video. And I like it plain because then I can take it out um, and I, then I put it in freezer bag. So I've done this where I have just taken my tongs and I just twist it and twist it. You can do it with forks. You can do it with really anything because it just falls apart. Um, so it gets like this and then I add the juices, right? So you've got all these beautiful, ju just so you guys know, like I was gonna move my phone right now, but my, my octopus um, phone holder is inside my toaster, just so you guys know. Have to stay creative. <laughs> So if, if I get elected, no, I unplugged it, don't worry. Um, but I take these natural juices from my chicken and I pour it right over um, that shredded chicken because what this is gonna do before I freeze it, before I store it, it's gonna make sure that it stays moist because you guys know there's nothing worse than dry ass chicken. It's disgusting. Okay, so you pour the juices over there to how you like it. Again, you know, use the juices it's gonna be better than using salsa. It's gonna be better than using other stuff with additives. So use the natural stuff as much as you can, right? And it's gonna keep it moist. So I'm, now I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna take each one of these suckers like that and put it in a sandwich baggie. First, I'm gonna measure it. I'm gonna measure four ounces, okay? Four ounces on my scale means a cook uh, in entry on my fitness pal is actually six ounces, okay? Because in my fitness pal, unless it says it's cooked chicken, 
that entry is raw, okay? So, when, and we know when we cook our meat, it, the, it, it, the moisture evapor evaporates, evaporates or evaporates either. Um, and so it reduces how much it weighs. So, so this four ounces in reality is actually six ounces of chicken. So put those in sandwich baggies and then in a giant freezer bag. And then I just take them out and microwave them when I'm ready, two minutes in a bowl, but then with whatever sauces I like. And I do prefer crock pot chicken over at like cooked chicken breasts that I dice up because all those little tiny, like there's so many tiny pieces for my seasoning to get in the, in the middle of. So um, crock pot chicken, it's not my favorite, right? But it is still, especially coming off of a cut, I ate a lot of it, right? It is still something I'm going to keep in my routine because it's a great backup. It's a great something for me to have on hand when I am in a hurry, right? Um, because I know I need to get my protein in because you guys know your protein is your most thermic macro, right? It's the, it's the macro that keeps you burning calories all day long, so don't chintz on your protein. But what I do love crock pot chicken for, even though it's not my favorite, like I love it for tacos. That's actually my favorite thing to do with it. Um, I don't know why, it just is. Like, I, I don't know, like the taco seasonings. So you can use your cumin, coriander, right? Cayenne, like whatever spice. It, those are my favorite spices because those are our power spices. And they're also delicious. Uh, but there's, a, there's so much stuff you can do. You can make a salad with this. You can make chicken salad with this. However, don't put mayonnaise in this and then put it in the freezer because it will be disgusting. I did do it one time and it was so gross. It was really bad. So, but like I also really love chicken salad. Um, another one that I like to do with, with this kind of chicken is, for my chicken salad, is, is I cut up a ton of cucumbers because cucumbers are really good for you. Um, also and onion and a little bit of that olive oil mayonnaise. And it's, you just have so much juice from the cucumber that you don't need a lot of mayonnaise and it's so good. Okay, but this is like a, a pre-introduction to um, what we have in store for uh, our Red Phoenix Meal Prep TV. I'm gonna be doing, after that cut and everything, like I am so excited to cook delicious food. So I went grocery shopping yesterday and I'm really excited. And you guys know I don't do fancy videos, but I'm gonna be videoing uh, what I make so that if you want, you can try it. It's still gonna be macro friendly and obviously clean food friendly because we're always working on our hormone profile and always wanna keep the toxins at bay as much as possible. So be on the lookout for that. I'm really excited, so. Happy new season. I feel like fall is here. I, I know it's not officially fall, but it just makes me so happy. Fall is my favorite. So, all right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. I know for a lot of you that was a repeat, but I still think it's helpful to keep repeating these things, right? Like I know to take my ass taste and greens every day. Does it always happen? No, sometimes because I need that reminder, right? So reminders are a good thing. Uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.